Hi there, I'm Dennis Maxwell, Assistant Dean for the Faculty of Science. And I want to just take some time and chat with you about Western and why the Faculty of Science might be a good fit for you as you start your undergraduate career this September. Now, Ontario is home to 21 excellent universities. And within this group, Western, along with schools such as Guelph and McMaster, are considered large, research-intensive universities. And with about 25,000 undergraduate students, Western is many times larger than Ontario's smallest schools, such as Laurentia, Nipissing, and Lakehead, each of which have less than 10,000 undergraduates. But it's interesting to note that Western is about half the size of Ontario's largest schools, York and University of Toronto, each which have more than 50,000 undergraduates. Now, as a research-intensive university, we attract world-class scientists who come to Western to carry out research on a diverse array of topics, some of which are shown here. As well, most of our research faculty are involved in the teaching of undergrads, both within their own laboratories, as well as in the classroom. And what this means is that at Western, you're often taught by instructors directly connected with the subject matter of the course. Above all else, what I really want to convey is that if you join us as a first-year science student in September, you'll become a member of a community of scholars. And this community includes faculty and staff, researchers, graduate students, undergraduate students, from all the various departments and programs that make up the Faculty of Science. And they're all involved in the three facets of academic life, teaching, learning, and research. And you might not think that undergraduate students, especially a first-year undergrad, have much to contribute to this community, but you do. You come to campus with a passion for learning, and you bring with you new and interesting ideas that keep us all moving forward. Western attracts the best and the brightest students like yourself, and we're focused on seeing you succeed as an undergraduate and to provide you with the knowledge and skills needed to become an outstanding member of society. Towards this goal, we kind of see student learning as a continuum that starts with giving you that one precious thing, time. Time to discover your own path and to pursue what you're really passionate about and engaging with you in that journey and ultimately seeing you thrive as a member of the Western family. And sure, a lot of this takes place in the academic sphere. We, we also know that developing a sense of the greater community and well-being outside the classroom translates to improved performance inside the classroom. And at Western, there are so many tremendous opportunities for doing just that. Whether it's playing a sport or joining a club or being involved in various arts and cultural events, there's so much to do on campus. And now I know that seeing these images seem kind of strange during this time of social isolation, but we will get back to normal just as soon as possible. All right, now let's take a few minutes and look more closely at how a Western undergraduate degree is constructed. So a four-year degree requires successful completion of 20 courses, five in year one, and then 15 combined years two, three, and four. And the idea of a course can be a little confusing because many courses at Western are actually half courses, so 0 0.5 course credits each. So, for example, in year one, many students take a full year of chemistry. And that full year of chemistry includes a half course in the fall term combined with another half course in the winter term. So taken together, those two courses represent 1.0 courses out of the total of five that you would take in year one. So in year one, you'll take five full courses. This includes 1.0 courses that are electives that are outside the Faculty of Science. And that first year really prepares you to enter into an area of specialization in year two. In fact, we give you the entire first year to kind of figure out what you're actually interested in. And so it's not until the very end of first year when you decide what module you want to enter into starting in year two. 
Now at Western, a module is a selection of courses at the second year level and higher that define a certain area of study. So starting in year two, you'll enter a module, and there's quite a variety of them. There's an honor specialization, there are majors, specializations, minors. And so you can see here, if you combine two majors together, you can have a double major. And so a double major or an honor specialization combined with your five first year courses, you graduate with an honors bachelor degree. If you complete a major or a specialization combined with your first year, you graduate with a bachelor degree four year. Now, there are important aspects of the modular system that students really like, and one of them is that the module you enter into in year two, you can change. You can switch maybe in year two or year three to a different related module. The one you enter into in year two isn't the one you have to graduate in. And there's lots of flexibility with regard to courses that you take. So let's take a closer look at this. If you think of an honor specialization, which is one of our more popular modules, you can get an honor specialization in physics or in chemistry. And most of those modules require, in this example, 10 and a half courses taken at the second, third, or fourth year level. Combine that with the five courses you took in first year, that's 15 and a half courses. So you still have four and a half electives to get to 20. Those four and a half courses could be additional courses in the program that you're, you're in, or they could be actually just pure electives, just courses from outside the Faculty of Science that you take purely out of interest. One of the things students really like about module is the ability to mix and match courses to really create a degree tailored just for you. There's so many courses offered in the Faculty of Science. You can easily add a minor. So the combination of, of a module within science combined with a language minor is very popular. There's the ability to do concurrent degrees with IV. The combination, for example, of computer science and music is quite popular. So it's the flexibility to really build your degree, a degree tailored for you, is why students really like Western's modular system. Many modules that you enter in second year have prerequisite first year courses that you need to complete. And so figuring out the courses you need and what your options are with regard to electives can be really stressful for an incoming first year student. And that's why we have Summer Academic Orientation, or SAO, to help you, to ensure that you're on the right track. Here, members of our dedicated SAO team can guide you, showing you the courses you need to take and options and electives that align with your interest. As well, you can ask questions related, for example, to living in residence. And of course, this year, all of this is conducted remotely. So I urge you to visit the SAO website, sign up for an appointment. This can be over the telephone or through Zoom, and you can, you can look at various workshops, as well as you can just simply email questions to our dedicated SAO staff. All this talk about courses is a reminder that Western science not only can attract world-class researchers, but it also has an amazing cohort of award-winning teachers that use a range of what we call high-impact practices to help you learn. It's certainly not what it was like when I was an undergrad in the 1980s. And profs used to just stand in the front of the class talking a mile a minute and you just had to take notes like crazy. Teaching and learning is so different today than it used to be. So here are just some of the high impact practices that you'll see in courses offered by the Faculty of Science. And one of them that's pretty important is what we call collaborative assignments. We know that in the workforce today, Companies and organizations are stressing teamwork to get individuals to work together collaboratively on projects. And this is something we need to teach our undergraduates to do. And so we have physical areas such as WALS, Western Active Learning Space, where in a course there could be an assignment where a group of students come together to produce a project. So it helps facilitate collaboration and teamwork. 
And here are two students working together in a first year physics lab. And this image here actually shows groups of students at the end of a first year biology exam working together on a couple of the multiple choice questions. Another high impact practice is what we call experiential learning. And if you're not quite sure what experiential learning is, take a look at this. My name is Dr. Graham Taylor. Um, I'm from the University of Western Ontario. I actually started this program in 2010. I scouted around for a marine station in which I could run a program with 12 to 20 students. Ultimately what I want the students to take away is that they love this environment and they want to care for this environment. So I'm Carly Muir, I'm a grad student at Western and I'm here TAing the Tropical Marine Environments field course. We are far off at sea, we are isolated, the island is quite small, and with a small island, within minutes we can access a wide range of habitat. The main uh, component of our mark is a research project. So we, after about three or four days exploring the island, doing snorkels, walking the beaches, we kind of found something we were interested or passionate about um, and we got to then formulate a question and then have hypotheses and predictions about that question and then actually go out and collect data to try to answer the question. We really just want to see that scientific process in action and how well they can take what they're observing and turn it into research questions and possible projects. I actually think when students come out here, one of the things they rediscover is their childhood if they you know, really interested in just uh, opening up their curiosity with not necessarily any um, textbook reading so that they can actually teach themselves and just be excited about something and then ask questions and then take that further. They didn't have courses like that when I was an undergrad. Now I know many of our courses in the Faculty of Science have an experiential learning component, but I'll admit right now, that's the only one that takes place on a tropical island. Now the picture here is taken from campus, and I think it illustrates quite well the big science that's carried out at Western. On the left, we have the Biotron. It's an experimental research facility used to study climate change because of its unique ability to simulate natural environments. And on the right is the new Western Interdisciplinary Research Building that is home to the Brain and Mind Institute. This has enabled Western to recruit real research superstars, including Adrian Owen from Cambridge University in the UK. And whether it's labs affiliated with the Biotron or the Brain and Mind Institute, or the hundreds of other labs supported by the Faculty of Science, undergraduate students are active participants in the research enterprise at Western. Undergraduate involvement includes working as a volunteer during the school year, or being awarded a paid summer assistantship. As well, many honor specialization modules offered by science departments have capstone fourth-year courses where students have the opportunity to carry out independent research projects under the supervision of a Western faculty member. All of these types of experiences really allow undergraduates at Western to get a first-hand look at what doing research is really all about. One aspect of an undergraduate science degree that many students take advantage of is the Faculty of Science internship program. This enables students to go work for a company or an organization for about 8 to 16 months. And of course, the great thing is you get paid to do this. And this usually takes place between years 3 and year 4 of your undergraduate and of course, it teaches you transferable skills and gives you real on-the-job experience. You get academic credit for this internship. And perhaps what's the most exciting thing is that more than one-third of our internship undergraduate students actually get an offer of 
full-time employment in their placement company once they've completed their undergraduate studies. Lastly, I want to touch on student support. We know that for many students, the transition from high school to university is pretty straightforward, while for others, it can be more challenging for a range of reasons. The Faculty of Science has a dedicated team of academic counselors to not only help you navigate this high school to university transition, but to help you thrive all the way through to graduation. There are additional resources campus-wide as part of the Western student experience to help you. These include academic support, learning skills, how to improve your academic performance in courses, career preparedness, as well as a whole range of resources related to physical and mental health. Okay, thank you so much for watching and for considering Western Science as the place to do your undergraduate degree. I hope to be able to personally welcome you to campus come September. And honestly, feel free to email me if you have any questions at all, dmaxwell at uwo.ca. And I encourage you to visit the various science departments and explore all the modules and courses we offer. Stay safe, stay healthy, take care.